there's such a small penalty right now that there's almost incentivizing people to not care, to just keep trafficking. And so when Shannon's proposing this, it actually brings a punishment and a sentence between 25 years and life in prison for your first time. And uh, there's still the three strikes law here, but the bill easily passed the Democratic controlled Senate uh, earlier this year and Grove expected to have little opposition this time in the assembly, but man, there was a lot of opposition. And I think that that's uh, indicative of the political climate we're in, but thank God this level passed and we're believing that more will pass as well. Well, part of the main story that we have today, I'm going to take a different twist on it because California is leading the way with the worst trafficking statistics in the United States and possibly in the first three markets of worldwide trafficking. And uh, Newsom's governorship has a lot at stake right now because even last week, uh, Representative Shannon Groves brought together the bill, uh, it's uh, B-14, and, and we either lead out as a state on how we're going to penalize those who are trafficking, especially children who've been sexually trafficked, or he's going to watch a lot of other states lead with these consequences. And actually, he's going to lose his platform over this issue. I believe that with Governor Newsom. But what was interesting is last week, um, somehow the bill got brought forward into the assembly and Newsom himself wasn't there. And a lot of the right people were not in there at the right time. For whatever reason, this bill was brought forth then. And man, it was awesome because after it was brought forward and it was voted down, I mean, voted down by predominantly a few Democrats. And again, I'm not anti-Democratic here or Democrats here. I'm just saying it was a, a bunch of Democrats who felt like the reason why they voted it down was because they felt like to penalize human traffickers is not working, that it's not it's not doing anything else. In their minds, there has to be more rehabilitation measures. And I'm like, are you kidding me? These people are trafficking children. Just keep them out of the market so they can't be a part of it anymore. That's enough. But that's not the mindset that these several Democrats that voted it down or wouldn't vote for it um, were platforming. So what happens is Newsom hears about it and he gets some political pressure on him. But plus he has said he cares about this issue and he brings it back for a surprise, you know, kind of toss back and has everyone vote on it again when the assembly was more large with people who care more about the issue and they were able to pass it. Now, this doesn't mean it's completely through, but it means that it went to its next level. That And Republican Shannon Grove has been working on this anti-trafficking bill for so long. And it's she's been really fighting for this. She's the leader of the Republican House here locally in, in California. And she doesn't think the issue of human trafficking is Republican or Democrat that it's an issue for all of us. And she said that over and over and over saying, I'm not coming to you just as a Republican, I'm coming to you as a mom, I'm coming to you as a, a citizen of our state that should care that we have the most trafficking happening and we can stop this, we can penalize this, we can rescue and save these children, leave our kids alone. She said that over and over. She's been carrying this mission from her state, but she's been carrying it from God. She really believes that God's given her this as a mandate. And I love that she's a politician who doesn't separate her relationship with God from the issues at hand. She's looking at this saying, I will fight this battle because it's a spiritual battle over our state, not just a natural battle. And she's bringing that aspect of it as well, even though she's doing it, honoring her office of a political you know, figure in our state. And she wants to bring a better standard of justice against human traffickers. The LA Times recently did a story on her, and I thought they did a really good job to some degree to talk about the fact that Democrats were reverse, reversing course after killing the bill, and then all of a sudden it reversed course because Newsom said, we're going to reverse this, and we're going to vote on it again, and, and stepped up on uh, last Wednesday to help revive the bill and the state legislator later, and it actually – is going to increase the penalties for child trafficking if it gets completely through. Right now we have a big win, but we need an even bigger win coming. I love that he sided with a Republican state senator over some members of his own party. That was a huge move forward that we haven't seen in a while here in the state of California on a major issue. And it shows that we have to look at certain issues as nonpartisan. We have to look at certain issues for what they are, that they affect all of us. And sometimes politics have so separated us from, and in many nations, I'm just using America as an example, you might be watching from the UK or Australia or Singapore, South Korea, Canada. We have a lot of people who watch the show from around the world. But what we've allowed to happen when there's political parties is we've allowed them to take issues that should be things that we care about as a family, as a household, as an individual. And we've allowed them to define by the party stance on it what we should believe about it versus the, it, just the basics of the issue itself. And certain issues like trafficking is not a partisan issue. And Senator Shannon Grove is really like fighting for that. She's fighting for all of us to care to create a serious felony in California. I don't know if you know this, but a lot of states just now have 
really good laws when it comes to trafficking. And some of them that have those laws that they, they can convict people. I mean, there's a there's a small punishment for these. I mean, right now, the punishment for trafficking could be three to 13 years with a fee up to $500,000. But some of these guys get let back, women and men get let back out and go immediately back into it. And it's three strikes before they're in prison for life. And they just go right back. There's such a small penalty right now that there's almost incentivizing people to not care to just keep trafficking. So when Shannon's proposing this, it actually brings a punishment and a sentence between 25 years and life in prison for your first time. And uh, there's still the three strikes law here, but the bill easily passed the democratic controlled Senate uh, earlier this year and Grove expected to have little opposition this time in the assembly, but man, there was a lot of opposition. And I think that that's uh, indicative of the political climate we're in, but thank God, this level passed and we're believing that more will pass as well. Gavin said, it's indicative of my desire to see what we can do with the bill. He said he cares very deeply about the issue, noting that he signed a state budget last year that included 25 million for services for children who'd been victims of sex trafficking and no other state has come with that monetary amount, which I am so proud of our state for having that. I'm, you know, a lot of you have, have counted and discounted uh, California for all the things we do wrong. But even as we've had this issue, that's been the leading issue uh, in America for sex trafficking here in California. I love that our current government is actually doing something about it and saying we want the legacy of our state to be the the one up front who's doing the most about anti-human trafficking. And I think, you know, um, we have to take these things very, very, very seriously. I want to get to uh, Shannon Grove's statement she made me over the weekend. We were talking back and forth while I was in church on Sunday. We were texting back and forth, and I was talking to her, just just congratulating her on this. And I said, "Would you want to make a statement to our, you know, our our crowd?" But she texted me this, and I just loved it. I thought it was so important. She said, "Tell your audience this: human trafficking is one of the most profitable crimes in the world." And with California ranking as top of the nation, it can easily be defined as the crime uh, of our time. Traffickers use force, violence, and coercion, and the most unthinkable cruel manipulation against children for the trafficker's own financial gain. And SB 14 will stop repeat offenders who are selling children for sex over and over again, and will send a clear message to our perpetrators. Our children are not for sale. Ah, praise God for Shannon and for the people involved in this. It's like hard not to cry or go there emotionally because of just how awful the situation is. But you know what? We're going to win. Jesus paid a price on the cross and we're starting to see out of his compassion, his heart for God so loved the world. He sent his son for the issue of this. And there's never been a time in history where there's been so much slavery on the earth, but you know what? It's time to change it. And I love a movie like this. I love all kinds of people who are involved in offices, both politically and social services all around the world that are doing something. And we got to pray that God brings to just the final nail to the coffin of this issue in our generation, in our lifetime. What if we were the generation in our lifetime, like William Wilberforce in the UK when he brought an ab abolition spirit or anointing to slavery? What if we were that generation? We just might be. I think we are. So let's go for it. Let's bring abolition, you know, an abolition anointing to this issue and free the slaves, especially the children at risk.